So a little bit of a backstory. Um, three years ago or so, I'll link to the video. I, I think I put a video up on this. I built this. It's basically a cold frame frame made out of PVC. And I was using like six mil plastic from Home Depot or Lowe's that I would wrap it in and um, I thought I would get a couple years usage out of it with the plastic and by the end of the first year it was basically already gone. The plastic lining rotted out from the sunlight. So the second year I bought more and did it in plastic and again it rotted out. Maybe there was a third year. I can't remember if it was two or three years ago. Either way, I did it every year with plastic and it basically rotted out before the year was over. And it's pretty nice because it's actually sized to fit on top of my four by eight foot uh, raised beds or you can leave it on the ground like this and use seed trays in there. So uh, right now it is March 3rd and it's been a pretty warm week this week. It's been cold most of you know, the last few weeks, but it's pretty warm today. And last year I bought some Tough Text panels, clear, to solve the problem with, but I never got them put on. All year long I never got them put on. So I bought them in the spring, and they laid out here on the ground, and now we're going to install them. Um, originally I thought about actually cutting them for each bend in the pipe, but I think because the clear Tough Text panels are so much thinner than the colored ones, that I'm just going to lay it on there and roll it up kind of like you would. Uh, metal roofing or something like that. So I'll start at the bottom work my way to the top When I get close to the top, I'll leave it open I'll do the other side roll it up till I get to the top then I'll lay a piece on the top It's kind of like a crown and then I'll fill in the ends I hopefully have enough to do it that way because I never really plan to do it that way I'm basically just using uh, So I got the tough text panel and then I've just got some these are actually metal roofing screws uh, with the rubber washers. They're actually cheaper than the Tough Tech screws. And I'm just going to kind of wing this because it doesn't have to be perfect. wanted to go ahead and show you that this thing is actually pretty light. I drug it up there and leaned it against the fence. And now I'm just going to drag it over the fence. The reason I wanted to show you this is because even though right now it's got four sheets of Tough Tex on it, those sheets of Tough Tex, the clear ones don't weigh nothing. Um, they're seriously like maybe a half or a third of the thickness of the collared ones. I use the collared ones on like my chicken run, on my rabbit hutches, so I use the collared ones everywhere. I was kind of disappointed in the thickness of the clear ones because the clear ones actually cost more than the collared ones but they're thinner. And they do that because these are popular for making greenhouses with. So I'm just going to lift this up, hopefully. Without it coming apart, because I don't really have anything holding it side by side. And I found the balance of it. So I'm going to lift it right onto this bed. Maybe. Close enough. Hmm. 
and uh, tomorrow I'll get the ends put on it and this is basically going to become well crap something ain't right because oh I know what it was um, when I built this it's actually narrower than what my beds are and the reason being was because I wanted it to sit on top of the 4x4 post ain't a big deal I'll show you when it's daylight tomorrow what I mean I know you guys probably are wondering what in the world I'm moving that again for and I was kind of got confused there for a minute and couldn't remember which crop I had in which bed last year <laughs> and then I remembered hey you really wish you would have put the cabbage on the right bed because the left bed has more sun and my corn didn't go do very good last year on the right bed because it was shaded so tomorrow we'll finish it up.